Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to continue comparing fractions. And first of all, I drew here two fraction bars and then colored one fourth of each. But as you can see, if you look closely, this piece is more than this piece, right? So does that mean that one fourth is more than one fourth? Wouldn't one fourth be equal to one fourth? As you can see, this fourth is a bigger piece than this. The problem is, our holes are not the same size, okay? This fraction bar is longer than that. So indeed, this piece is bigger than that. But they are not referring to the same fraction bar. They are not the same length to start with. Okay, we see the same problem here. Okay, we have two fraction bars, but they are not the same length. So, my first fraction bar here is showing three fourths, and this one is showing two thirds. Right? And they look like they are the same amount. Okay? But does that really mean that 3 fourths is equal to 2 thirds? Is it so? It is in this case, but it is not in general. It is not true in general for fractions. Okay, so let's cross this out so you don't think that. In my next picture, we have two fraction bars that are the same length. Okay, so now we have two holes that are the same size. And now if I take three-fourths of this one and then two-thirds of this one, now we can compare these two fractions. You can see two-thirds is less. Let's go over here. If I color one-fourth of this and one-fourth of that. Let's say this was a um, square pie and this was a round strawberry pie. And maybe this is a blueberry pie. Then which piece is the bigger piece? Oh, Matthew knows. Yeah, it's this piece. Okay, so one fourth of this pie is more than one fourth of that pie, right? Let's put here one fourth of this pie is more than one fourth of that pie. But if we had some different pictures, we might have one fourth equals one fourth, right? It depends whether your holes, these whole things, are the same size or not. Here, let's compare five sixths and two thirds. If I color five sixths and two thirds, you can see this is more, right? And this is a true comparison. There is no problem because these fraction bars are the same size, right? Even if I drew two pie pictures, I would always get five sixths is more than two thirds, right? If my pies were the same size. Now, for this word problem, I need to call Matthew's cousin, Giganta, to join us. Come on, Giganta. Here he is. Come on, you can go on my shoulder here. Let's read. Matthew picked a big bucket full of blueberries. And Giganta picked a small bucket full of blueberries. Okay, yeah, because he's smaller. Then they both ate three-fourths of their blueberries. Did they eat the same amount? What do you think? He has a small bucket full. He has a big bucket full. And they eat three-fourths. They did not eat the same amount, right? Who ate more? Uh huh, yeah, Matthew ate more. We can see it if we draw a picture. Let's draw a picture of two bucketfuls, okay? If there's a big bucketful and then a small bucketful. And if it was divided into four parts, okay? And you eat up to that, not to that much. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's color it in. Yeah, blueberries. Then this is more than that, right? Oh, he wants to go eat. Sure, go ahead. Eat your bucket full. 
Yum, 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 yum. Tastes good. All right, you want to join us for the rest? Let's see. Here is a challenge of comparing fractions. Lots of fractions to compare. You can even pause the video at this point and try to solve these on your own, okay? So, which one is more, five-fifths or one-fifth? These are the same kinds of pieces, so five pieces is more than one piece. Eight-ninths and four-fourths. Don't get fooled and think that, oh, eight is a bigger number than four, or nine is a bigger number than four. Four-fourths is actually equal to one, one whole pie, right? Eight-ninths is not. It is less than one pie. So that's how it goes. Eight-ninths is less. Eight-tenths and eight-ninths. Notice there's eight and eight, the same number. The top numbers are the same. So there's the same amount of pieces. You have eight pieces and eight pieces. But are tenths smaller pieces or ninths? You know? Tenths are smaller pieces. So eight-tenths is less than eight-ninths. One fifth and one half, that's easy, right? A fifth is a much smaller piece than one half. Six ninths, seven ninths, that's easy again. Ninths and ninths, the same kinds of pieces. Seven pieces is more than six. Two halves and nine ninths. Don't get fooled. Nine ninths is the same as one whole pie. Now two halves is also one whole pie. These are equal. Five sevenths and one half. Imagine if you have something divided into seven pieces and you take five pieces. That's more than one half, isn't it? I hope you can see that. One half and two fourths. Ah, Gigantu knows the answer. Correct! These are equal. Yes. And then lastly, one third and six tenths. Might be a little trickier. Think this way. Is this more than one half? No, it's less. How about this one? Is this more than one half? Yes, it is, because five tenths would be one half. So six tenths is a little bit more than one half. And this was less than one half. So one third is less than six tenths. All right, good job. We're all done with this lesson.